get that sheetrock 90 hard setting lead going. We gotta straighten everything up so we can start skimming. So be a couple of days of straightening. Today's the first day. That's all we're doing right now is just kind of filling things up. So when we use the regular finishing compound, we'll dry without shrinking. So this doesn't have to look perfect, it just has to be filled up. That's all. That's all we're shooting for right now. At this point. Fourteen inch finishing knife. I love this thing, it makes no lips. Nice, easy sanded. So we're about three hours in, uh, first day of coating, and we've got the first coat of the flat coat going on with the sheetrock hard setting mud, um, and we have to use that to prevent crackage and to build things out so that way when we use the regular finished coating mud, it will dry properly without having to leave it for a couple of days and have it shrink and then have to skim it again. So we're going to build everything out until it's actually pretty darn close to true flat. So there's not going to be a lot of building with the actual finishing mud. It's just going to be a lot of skimming. Okay, um, so let's check it out. We're three hours in and we've got the first coat of the flat coat on. We're going to go have a, a quick break and then we're going to come back in and mix up some more 90 and start second coating where we started this morning with the flat coat to finish off the flat coat. So everything's ready to start the skimming process tomorrow. So here we are. We've gotten the first flat coat on basically everything. These, I don't flat coat them with the 90 because I can easily coat them with the regular mud. It will dry overnight and it's easier to sand that way. Oh, I got to hit this wall. I didn't first coat that wall. Good thing I do these videos because I notice stuff like that. So this guy here, you can see how the tape's kind of still showing through. It's not true flat yet. So I'm going to actually skim that one more time to build it up and make it flat. And the same thing with that one there. So, and that one there had a good half of an inch difference up on the top. You can't tell anymore. Same thing up there. It was a good three quarter of an inch difference. So that one definitely needs another good flat coat all the way around. So we'll get that done. We'll try to get all the flat coating done today. And then tomorrow I can come in and just start loading up the finishing compound to get it ready for the finished coat. So now this wall here was an old plaster wall and it had a lot of cracks all over the place so I had to mesh tape all the cracks. And rather than just have a whole bunch of patches all over the place which you'd be chasing stuff and then probably still end with a finished job with cracks showing through. If you do it this way you know that you're not going to have any cracks showing through anywhere and it will be just like a brand new surface like it was freshly drywalled. So that is the reason why I skim the full wall like that. It might not have necessarily needed to be done like that, but that is the only way that I can guarantee everything for myself. So that way I know when I leave this job, there is no issues to come back to. So that is the reason why I do that. And then here it's going to be finished up to, I guess, this plug here. So he told me not to worry too much about that because it's already eating up quite a bit of mud just doing the finished stuff. So I don't think he wants to pay for some pay to mud something that's just going to get covered anyways right so that there's going to need one more coat too as you can see the tape is still showing out i didn't want to overbuild it too much so i just made it flat now we're going to clean it up overbuild that tape a little bit and then it'll be ready for the skimming processes to start so and on this job there's probably going to be about four to five coats on most things in here a lot of straightening and a lot of smoothing out so all this stuff here is not going to be completely finished. I'm just going to load it 
make it flat and that's going to be good enough because it's going to be tile backsplash and then coverts, coverts. So there we go, three hours and we got all that straightening done. Here also was a good three quarters of an inch difference from here all the way to this light right here. This whole section had to be filled right up with, like I said, about three quarters of an inch of mud all the way into the corner to make it look flat. So I'm going to have to do basically the same thing with that again, but this time it's going to be like a quarter of an inch that I'm going to be filling it to, to just to bring it past the tape. So there we go. At least it looks like some stuff got done today. I like when the mud starts going on because then you start to see what the finished product's going to get to. So that's it. I'm going to go take a quick break and then we're going to come back and start the second coat of flat coat which will make everything real flat and then I can start the skimming process. Okay, so we are day number two taping, day three on the job, day two taping. First day was boarding. Um, and yeah, we're looking pretty good. Things are looking pretty flat and pretty straightened out now. And then hopefully tomorrow, um, we just got a little bit of flat straightening to, to straighten out still, but I ran out of sheetrock 90. So once we get more sheetrock 90 tomorrow morning, we'll go finish off the, the straightening and flattening. But I went around and I tried to skim over the flat stuff with the first coat of finished mud. So I'll show you what we got done so far. It's looking pretty good for just one day's mudding. Yesterday was taping, today is actually coating. So here we are, day number, th er, day number three on the job, day number two taping. And now all this stuff was really, really bad. So it's got two coats of the Sheetrock 90 flat coat to straighten it out. And now as you can see, it's a lot straighter. So it's got one skim coat of the finishing mud coat. So that actually has three coats on it just today, all the way around, down, and then across that top. So that all has three coats on it just today. Um, that's just got one coat of the Sheetrock 90 on it right now. I wanted to get the up and down first, leave that to dry overnight. Tomorrow that'll be set up enough that I can go right across that and it'll make it nice and true flat. Same thing with that one, it's got one coat of the Sheetrock 90 flattening coat on it, hardening. And like I said, the only reason why I had to skim that whole wall all the way around was because there was minor little hairline cracks on the old lath and plaster. So I had to mesh tape them all and then just skim the whole thing rather than having a hundred little patches in one area. Just looks so much nicer and it's actually easier to work with that way. And then here it was really, really bad. That's got four, three coats of Sheetrock 90 on it and then one coat of the finishing mud so far on it. And as you can see, it has straightened out quite a bit. So I can work with that. Tomorrow I'll probably uh, pre-sand that and then give it one more load up coat just to overbuild it a little bit more so it will skim flush with the rest of the wall once I skim that. This is all getting covered, covered, covered. I put a coat on that just to kind of straighten it out. I'll throw one more coat on there to get it true flat. Um, and then we just got one coat on this, these butt joints. That way tomorrow I can load the flats right across them. That'll be nice and dry and it'll build that out just beautifully. Um, here has four coats of Sheetrock 90 to build it out. This is where um, right here was the joint and it was sticking down like literally three quarters of an inch of a difference. So this whole area had to be filled out to be level with this all the way up to around just past the light and then it started to level back out. So uh, yeah, lots of filling there. There's four coats of Sheetrock 90 and then now one coat of the finishing compound. And then down here, there's two coats of Sheetrock 90 and then one coat of the finishing compound. So everything was three coated minimum today. And then, well, minus this, like I said, I ran out of Sheetrock 90. That needs one more flat coat to bring it true flat enough so I can start skimming it to make it look like that. Um, this one corner was really bad, so I just threw some mud up there since it's gonna dry overnight anyways. It'll make the coating easier tomorrow. And then this guy here is ready for coating now anyways. Hit the butt joint. These guys have two coats of uh, sheetrock and then one coat of finishing compound. Same thing, same thing there. Um, and then same thing in here, I just got one quick coat across here of regular finishing mud. So tomorrow, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in, um, we're probably gonna load these corner, actually no, sorry. First thing that we're gonna do, because it needs drying time. 
So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, once the sheetrock 90 is here, we're gonna mesh tape all that. We're gonna just kind of coat it over the mesh tape with the 90, let that harden up. So that way I have a nice good surface that I can start building up on. And we're gonna clean the whole inside of that and you're not gonna see that by the end of the day tomorrow. Um, so we'll be dealing with that. Well, first thing we'll sheetrock 90 that, hit some like mesh tape it, sheetrock 90 it. And then we'll come over here. We will sheetrock 90 all of these corner beads. Okay, and then we're gonna, after we've sheetrock 90 all the corner beads, we're gonna bounce back over into that room and then we're gonna put another coat of sheetrock 90 on that until it's true flat. And then we're gonna bounce back here and we're gonna get the white mud, the finishing compound, and we're gonna do a coat right over top of the sheetrock 90 because it will be set up enough by around lunchtime. So that way everything will have the actual first coat on it as of tomorrow and be ready to start pre-sanding and finish coating process the next day. All right, we care, professional plastering services. We really do care, and I hope it shows in our work. Have a great day, guys.